go. Good boy. Good boy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll get your breakfast. So welcome back to another chaotic vlog. Um, <laughs> as you probably just saw the start of this, which I'll explain that in a minute. But yeah, I wanted to test out this camera. It's the DJI Pocket 3 Osmos Pocket 3. I'm not sure how you say it, but it seems like it's a really cool camera and I haven't really tried like a vlog vlog with it yet. So I thought I would do that today. Greg is in Ohio with his friends and you know I pull out the camera more and I just am silly when I'm by myself <laughs> and just more comfortable and I hang out with my mom more. So hopefully I will record some of that today. I don't really know what's going on, but I just thought I would vlog it. Just the randomness. However, this battery is dying <laughs> and my phone is dying and I have to get ready. I, I did not, I didn't plan properly. So I'm gonna charge some things up, get myself together, and then we'll be back. Oh, I love this song. My pretty hair, the kick friend. Copyright stricken for this video. Hey, Bambi. Hey. Back up. I gotta come in. Come on. I know. You want your breakfast? Alexa, stop. Oh. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Here. Here. Oh my goodness, Miss, here. Sheesh. But while I sit here, usually <laughs> behind the scenes here. Oops, my mom just texted me if I'm going to walk today. Yep. Nine o'clock, half an hour. Um, usually what I do, this, this gimbal is hard to navigate, man. Usually what I do while Mitz eats her food is I watch the latest Howie Spangler vlog. He's the lead singer of Valley Who and... Apparently he vlogs or he is this month and every, he posts them late, I think like last night he posted this, but I go to sleep early. So I watch it in the morning. I give her time to eat. I watch this and then I just kind of play with her, clean the litter box and stuff when she's done. But yeah, this has been my morning lately. What I really like about his vlogs is that he's kind of awkward, but I mean that in a good way like me when it comes to vlogging, especially because every couple of vlogs, it seems like he's like, I just don't know if I should be doing this and I don't know if anybody cares and all this other stuff. But at the end, he's always like, you know, it's making memories. It's documenting your life. You have stuff to look back on. So he kind of like goes back and forth a lot like I do about vlogging. So it's just kind of fun to like see somebody else doing that and just living a normal life, I guess. And if you've been watching my vlogs for a while, you know that's kind of me in a nutshell. Like, I want to do it. I think it's fun. But then I also feel a little silly. So, yeah. I've kind of been on a little bit of a Ballyhoo kick lately. I put it on for mittens in the morning. Well, I try to put music on here all the time because when the boys were going crazy before, you could hear them yelling. And I didn't want her to get all crazy when, you know, she first had her surgery. So... I just put Alex in here and I just play random stuff and lately it's been Ballyhoo. Ain't so girl, you like Ballyhoo. Was your breakfast good? You ate most of it. Let me turn this around. Watch, you just press a button. It's like the other one. Just go. Was that good? And, and more shipping materials. Yay! Just when I was about to be done. That, this was... Uh, it's really nice. I just don't have any need for it. I will ship it to you. No problem. I'm gonna go up and make dinner. I downloaded a new VR game. Okay, you sweet girl. Come in here. You're the sweet one. Hey, 
Hey, Minnie Man. Hi. Say, so remember me? It's been a while. Say, <laughs> it's been a while. What, you like my sweatshirt? Is that going to be a toy? Probably not the best sweatshirt for cats. <laughs> Jules. Jules is pretty girl, too. She's the fluff. She's so fluffy. Oh my gosh, her tail is insane. If she turns around and you could see how big she is. What you think? What you think? I'm trying not to show you her butt, but look at her tail. She's such a fluff. Jules is just chilling. She's like, I've eaten enough food this morning. I had a little play. Now I'm gonna take a nap. Can I take a nap too? What you think? Oh, you're so big. She's so freaking big. We think she might be part Maine Coon because there was a cat in our yard for like three days that was huge and fluffy. If I could find a, whoa. If I can find a picture, I'll insert it here. But it looks like her, <laughs> like she does. And we say Maine Coon just because the tail's huge, the paws are huge, and I don't know if you can tell, but she has little tufts on her ear. This is supposed to be like a warming, cozy bed for them. It's like a self-heating type thing where if they lay on it, uh, it just kind of keeps the heat in. It is very nice out here with the heater. It's very comfortable. But her ear, well, maybe I'll just insert some pictures of what I'm talking about. Like she has peaks on her ears. That's kind of a Maine Coon thing. Oh, there was a blue jay. thought they could see it, but it's very nice out today. It's cold, but looks like it's going to be a nice day. So we're going to check on the boys, and then probably it'll be time to go for a walk. Okay, so really quick before I go in with the boys, I thought I would just sit down and tell you why everybody is separated. So long story short, try to make this short, is that Mitz and the boys were fixed at different times. It's really that simple. But with Mitz, she could probably go back in with Mini Mitz and Jules this week. I gave it an extra week just because one, Greg was going to be gone and I kind of wanted him to be here when I put them back together. I didn't really mind waiting just because I wanted to give her that extra week just to heal up because, you know, with females, it's just more invasive and it's just a bigger scar. And her and Jules really go at it. Like they play, but they are rough with each other. So I kind of wanted to give it a little extra time than what the vet recommended anyway. And the boys, they could have been back in with Mini Mitts and Jules, but last week I noticed that there was a hole on Booger's back where his microchip was and we took him in. Again, long story short, they said that the microchip was trying to expel itself. So I have to give him antibiotics from, well, it was well, last week until next week. And then if it is still infected, because that's the current situation, they want to do surgery to remove it. And I have all sorts of feelings and thoughts about everything going on with this that I won't get into, but um, it seems to be healing up from what I could tell. So I'm really hoping that he doesn't need surgery because he is such a baby. I know no cats like the vet, but he is like truly a baby when it comes to going to the vet and I just hate putting him through it. I hate giving him the medicine. So I just really hope that the problem fixes itself and we're all good. But until then, until we take him back, I might leave him and Wolfie in the bedroom until then. Like Mitts can go back in with mini Mitts and Jewels, but I think him and Wolfie can keep him company just because they're, they don't get too crazy. But all of them together, I know they'd get nuts, and I just don't want to irritate that and make it worse. I just want it to heal. So this is going to be the setup for a little longer. And then by then, it'll probably be time for Minnie Mitts and Jewels to go get fixed. And then after that, everybody can be in together. But it's still going to be a little weird for a while. But yeah, just wanted to explain that. That's why I'm going to go check them really quick and then go for a walk with my mom.
boo boo. You're gonna just chill by the window. Yeah. You can just chill. You just gonna chill too, Wolfie? Just gonna chill. <laughs> I gotta go clean the kitchen, okay? I gotta go clean the kitchen and get some lunch. I'll be fine. Oh, you're all wet. Winston is in the air ducts with a badger. <laughs> what? This is, this is <laughs> air ducts. I hate chip nail polish. Is this how you want it to it's, Like, this is chip? It bothers me. Like, black, I feel like it's okay to be chip. You gotta look cool. Person. Yeah. I know, I know. I still oh, you like do? So, Mom, do you have anything you want to say? Not real. The gimbal just made its way to you. <laughs> what are you gonna look for at the mall? I don't know. I need to get a proper winter coat. Me too. But you know what? This one, it's not really a winter coat, but if you layer enough under it, right. it still keeps you warm. Does it? Pretty much. I mean, like, this is like a big, fuzzy sweater, and it fits. Yeah. Like, you know how I had that white jacket? Yeah. For, like, winter time? Yeah. I tried to put that on today with this, and it was so uncomfortable. Yeah. Like it was like stuffed, but this one has enough room that you can put on a heavy sweatshirt. Yeah. So then I started thinking, do I really need to get a specific winter coat? Oh, I know. Can I, I think just that make sometimes do? all winter until I finally think, okay, well, I don't need it now. I know. <laughs> That's the thing. The thing I don't like is all winter coats that I see are either cropped, which I don't understand because we live in Pennsylvania. Why would you wear a cropped yeah. jacket in like 20 degrees? Like I can see if you or live puffer. in like. Or puffer. Yeah, or a puffer. Which I don't like that either. I feel like the, what's it called? Michelin Man? Mm -hmm. Is that what that's called? Yeah. I just don't like it. And I know some of them are like feathers or something too. So like that's a no. So we'll see what they have. I won't vlog it, but we'll see what they have. Or should I vlog it? Should I go undercover? Mom just shrugs like, mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to. <laughs> Mom is looking for a sweatshirt. Maybe. Maybe. And a headband. Maybe. And a headband because she gets cold. We walk. Why don't you get a hat? Like a knit like, hat. I have a knit hat, but it, they always look stupid. But maybe earmuffs will. Maybe the headband will too. I don't think they look stupid. I don't know if I've ever. Well, I think I saw you in one and it was like poof at the end. Like yeah. you have to get one that fits you. Or else you look like you got like a cone, cone head. head. <laughs> well, I think just roll it up. Just yeah. like roll it up a bit. <laughs> And also, Probably we're going because we have a coupon. Make sure it's not showing. A coupon mm -hmm. <laughs> that ends today. Oh, I went there one weekend though, and it was packed. Like, it I think probably it's been will a while. Be today if that's the last day yeah. for that. Probably like, will be. It was today. a while since I went on a weekend, but oh, I went last weekend or the weekend before to look for a coat too, but find anything but it was like jam-packed but I'm like well so we'll see we'll see what we find can we just take a moment to appreciate the wisps look at all the wisps I, can look at the, I see the wisps what does that mean it means there's clouds yeah but like what are they does They're it mean rain is too. coming mm -hmm. I know is it cold look over there <gasps> that's so pretty it's so interesting though because people that know this could look at that and yeah. be like that means something like right, yeah. in the atmosphere with the weather like right. i just think oh pretty wisps yeah you don't know if it's just you know because of breezes or yeah <laughs> you look like you're ready to hit the slopes <laughs> what do you think? you think what do you think guys you're ready to hit the slopes <laughs> no i wanted to vlog try that so we're back from the store didn't find any coats but we got some uh, ear pieces to try for our cold walks. I think, I think I like this better too. I don't like the things that go behind your ears. Oh my God. <laughs> that looks better maybe? I don't know, what do you think? I don't know. What do you like better? I don't know. Do you put it over your hair or do you move your hair? But something I'm kind of excited about, I've never worn one of these before, but I always wanted one because I feel like it's just 90s. And I remember like, well, I don't know. I think it'll go 
I probably look oh. silly now. I don't know if I should put it on. I'll put it on. Yeah, they definitely don't go that way. They only go like... But I got this, just so you know. Mom convinced me to get it. She said I look cute. That's cute. I like it. It's a bucket hat. I've always wanted a bucket hat. I think I had one like when I was really young, but I never wore it. But now I'm more bold to try different things. And what I thought was cool. I don't know, Nick. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Look at this tag. It says, I am cruelty free. Right on it. But they had one that said Steve Madden, but I'm not sure who that is. I'm not sure, Nick. I don't know who that represents. <laughs> so I didn't want that. But I think it's cute. I think I could, I, I could dress it up a little bit with with like a winter coat or something. Maybe. I'm trying to decide what I like try to visible. <laughs> this would be definitely warmer. Yeah. Yeah. Try the bucket hat. I'm trying to make it to it. Like See what you look bangs. like. Look at you. You gotta put your hair down. Let your hair down. Like take your hair down and put it to the front. You got Alanis Morissette long <laughs> hair. Like longer than Alanis Morissette. See, that looks cute. <laughs> that looks cute. Oh my gosh, bucket hat. I'm bringing them back. Right? I don't know. Like, seriously, you put on a winter coat and a bucket hat? I don't hate it. <laughs> I don't hate it. I don't hate it. <laughs> oh, this isn't, this isn't it. Like this. How do the ear must look? <laughs> I haven't seen that. She has the ear muffs on, the wraparound ear muffs. You can't even tell. I don't look very cute in these, but this yes, one is thicker. Yeah. I feel like I have to style. That's the thing. I need to. <sighs> How did you do that now? You put, your you put it all like around it. your neck. All around your neck? You put it all around your neck, then pull your hair through. And then flip it over. But it kind of gives you a little poof, but I don't think it matters. Okay, so it's a bit later in the day now. And I just finished recording a different video. Have to edit that. But I have to check on the cat soon. They need their supper and Boogers needs his medication. So I'm going to do that. This video is probably going to end how it started. Just checking in on all the cats again. But um, yeah, it was a fun weekend. It was a fun day. Mom and I hung out a bunch, which I always love. Like even if we're not doing that much stuff, like we could just anyways hang out with mom it's just very chill and I love that because her and I I feel like around some people maybe this makes sense I don't know but around some people I feel like I always have to be like doing something or entertaining or like paying full attention to stuff and mom and I can just sit and hang out and we could watch like today was new girl yesterday was Gilmore Girls and we could just watch it and not have to talk a ton like I could just lay there she could just sit there we're kind of paying attention we're kind of like on our phone sometimes we say things here and there but it's not like it's this constant thing and I like that I just like to be able to just hang out and I don't know it's just nice but yeah Greg will be back soonish I think so I'm going to go check the cats, get Boogers his medicine, and then finish up the vlog, I guess. And what did I say? I just heard the garage open. <laughs> so Greg is back. So I'm just going to end this here. Boogers is eating. He's fine. Wolfie's eating too. And I'm just going to be going around and feeding the cats and checking on them like I do every night. So I'll end this here. I know this is just for me. I'd say hopefully you enjoyed it, but I don't really know if any of this vlog matters to anybody but me. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed it if you've made it this far, and I will see you when I vlog again.